So Streets of Tarkov right now is probably the best map to farm rubles, uh, without a doubt. But looting different parts of the map, I have no problem filling up a backpack and getting out uh, in less than 15 minutes. Pretty much every single raid. On average when I play, you know, keeping my raid short. I can do like 10 raids every 4 hours. A million per raid on the low end, you know. 10 million every 4 hours. It's a really good, really good map to farm. And if you're looking to farm it, I'll uh, let you in on some of the secrets. But enough talking about it. Let's pull up a map here. Take a look at the areas that we want to loot. And take a look at the areas that we're going to want to avoid. Depending on where you spawn, these are the areas that you're going to want to be looting it. So breaking it down into three main sections. Up top you got Beluga slash the mall area. This is the most chill area. Uh, down bottom right you got the abandoned factory slash financial area. This is my favorite area to loot. And then bottom left you got Concordia. Which probably will give you some of the best loot. Uh, but you don't spawn over there very often. And then... Got the two optional sections, Pinewood and Post Office. I actually made a whole video on the Post Office building. Pretty good building, but um, high risk. You don't have to go there. So getting into the areas that you're going to want to avoid. Highlight in red. Almost guaranteed you're going to run into a player, especially like 10 minutes into the raid. Super high flow. Lots of players running through here. In yellow, a couple quests in these uh, areas. As well as the spawns kind of like push all the PMCs together. Let's get right into the routes. We'll start off with the most chill, the easiest route, uh, the Beluga slash Mall spawn. So if you get any of these spawns in the top right, I'm going to run back to this tucked away office. I'm going to check one, two, three gold spawns. And then this back table is full of gold spawns as well as Intel folders. Now we're going to come into Beluga, we've got one duffel bag and then one filing cabinet in this room. Coming upstairs into Beluga, you're going to breach through this door, head towards this room. On the couch you have gold spawns, they can be in the cushions. And then going upstairs, the Beluga key, you've got one jacket, three gold spawns. Filing cabinet, computer, and then in the carpet there, there's a gold chain spawn. As well as a scav, some jackets. Run back underneath. You got a tech store. Find some tech items. And then uh, toolboxes on this floor. You got a dead scav. Uh, there can be three duffel bags in this area. And a bunch of loot in this hallway. Never really run into anyone in this hallway, so super chill. Couple filing cabinets. Toolbox, toolbox. Now from here you can either run to Pinewood and loot a little bit of Pinewood, or just take the Klimov extract right here. Alright, so the abandoned factory side. Any spawn over here, this is exactly what I'm gonna do. Run over to this small office. Couple PCs, filing cabinets. And then run over to the, the factory here. So all along the ground where I'm looking, there's tons of items as well as thermites. If you find a thermite, that's huge. So just all along the ground in here, on the tables. Bunch of tech crates as well. In the back of this wagon, find some good stuff. Alright, now, all done with the factory, I'm going to run over to Financial. There are two buildings I ran right past. You can loot those. I tend not to. Um, I'll show those in just a second here, but loot Financial. Got a Bitcoin spawn right there. Bunch of PCs, duffel bag in the back. Once you're done with Financial, run off to Klimov. And then you can just extract super short raid um, or you can loot these two buildings get even more loot the bitcoin spawn on the top floor in that chair as well as on this floor 
You've got a Bitcoin spawn right there. Next to the coat hanger. This building's actually really, really good loot. Uh, it's just kind of annoying to loot, in my opinion. On the Concordia side here, I immediately rush underneath Concordia. I loot the security room first. Make sure you guys check that spawn right there. A couple toolboxes underneath. We're gonna go up on this side. This is Concordia 64 and the 64 office keys. And then Concordia 63. You got two rare spawns right there for free. Behind the key, some tech spawns. And injectors in the closet. So leaving 64, a hidden stash, a couple toolboxes right here. We're gonna run back underneath. You could go to that construction area, but I typically don't loot in here. Sometimes there's a toolbox in there. Bunch of toolboxes up here as well as loose spawns. Coming out of that room, there's two rare spawns here. One on the shelf, one in the suitcase. So, leaving Concordia, you can either take the taxi to leave. You can either go get more loot at the abandoned factory, damaged house, courtyard. Totally up to you. So quickly, we'll just cover Pinewood. There's a Bitcoin spawn on those shelves here. A little bit of loot up here. Uh, if if I'm about to hit Klimov, I'll usually just hit this little this little room and then leave. Um, if you do end up going to the other side, there is a Bitcoin spawn on this shelf as well. And then a bunch of like medical spawns in this dental area. So this is the kit that we're going to be bringing into the raids. I only play nighttime. Uh, there's way better performance on nighttime. As well as possibility of less players. Oh, uh, what, Gazelle or... Uh, this rig from Ragman, these are really good armors. And I like a gun with a big mag, so MCX, M4. Uh, it's up to you though, you know, run whatever gun you want. The LBT rig and the Zuck, they're really good for storing items. Let's see here, we've got the keys, as well as every raid we're gonna be popping a Meldonin. This gives you plus 10 endurance, plus 20 strength for 16 minutes. So uh, pretty much for the whole raid you'll have Increase skills, you'll be able to carry more loot uh, a lot easier, as well as this stim. This stim is crucial, especially in the the extracting part, because it lasts for two minutes and it gives you plus twenty strength and plus thirty stamina. So it's pretty much a mule stim for tw two minutes. I always carry a couple of these on me, especially when I'm doing the sprint to the extract. So now here's some actual raids that I did live, you know, in a real game. Uh, just typical, you know, average what happens. Uh, videos in 4x, so if you need to change the speed, just click a little setting, slow it down.